Hello and welcome to Just One More Watch. Yeah, Just One More Watch just moved house. I thought it was high time I gave the look and feel of the channel just a bit of a tweak. As iconic as those IKEA cubes were, I always felt they made me look like I was making videos in my spare bedroom, whereas now I look like I'm making videos in a studio, even though this is my spare bedroom. Now, big shout out to Watch Nerd, Photography Nerd, and Hodinky poster boy Jack Shepherdson. He came over last weekend and he helped me set all of this up. His help has been invaluable. It's not quite ready yet. The sound's a little bit odd in here. I would love to put some light on Steve Irwin, get the clock on the wall, and get a plant over here. But overall, I'm really happy with how it turned out. And I thought to herald this new era of just one more watch, I would present you with today a shocking revelation, a shocking truth. Zelos is not a micro brand. Now, I made a video about five reasons why you should buy a micro brand and five reasons why you shouldn't buy a micro brand a couple of months ago. And I talked about what it is to be a micro brand in the watch space. Is it volume or is it the sales model? I tell you what it's not. It's not having your designs ripped off by another company. They say that imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, but I'm not sure how El Shan Tang feels about this. I was scouring Amazon for bargains when I came across the Brigada, which is a one-for-one -one copy of the Zelos Mako 2. How do I know? Because I own the Zelos Mako 2. Let's flip the camera and have a look at this thing. Now, I'm aware that I've got to be slightly careful here today. Clearly, I have no problem with homage watches, no problem with watches that are basically copies of the design of a far more famous and far more expensive piece, usually from a big Swiss brand. But this is the first time that I have ever come across a, a copy, a homage to a micro brand, which is why my whole point today is that Zelos cannot be a micro brand anymore if people are copying them. It's also the one where there's the least disparity between the copy and the original. This watch cost me about 70 Aussie dollars. It's about 45 USD on Amazon. I will leave a link if you're desperate in the description of the video. You can pick up a Zelos though for about $300 and I reckon these Makos were about maybe 550 when they were new. Now, I think this is one set of circumstances where people who leave me a comment saying just save up for the original have got it spot on. You should probably just save up for the original. I didn't really buy this one to give it the full review treatment. I bought it as a bit of a laugh. Credit where it's due though, perhaps they put some of the money that didn't go into the design into the packaging. That is a lovely set of packaging for a $45 watch. By far the best I've seen at that money. But there can be no mistake what is going on here today. This is a definite copy of the Zelos Mako, which I found hilarious when I spotted it. This one's 43, the original is 40. This one is made of brass, allegedly, whereas the original, as you can see, is made of marine grade bronze. But there is no mistaking what they were doing here. The bezel is exactly the same. The crown down there at the four o'clock, the chapter ring with the minute track and the fifth of a minute track is identical. Even the funny dots around the outer edge beyond those hour markers are identical on the Brigada as the Zelos, and they have gone for a printed full meteorite dial. I have never seen that before. They haven't quite ripped off the indexes. They haven't gone to the same extent that Zelos has, and they have got the hands badly wrong, in my opinion, on the Brigada. You know, it's not a bad watch overall for the money, but... It just looks off and it is barely legible thanks to an undersized handset and that very unusual looking faux meteorite. The Amazon listing claims that the dial is textured, but the only texture there is the one that they have printed on it. Mineral crystal, I'm not sure if there's any anti-reflective coating. Probably not given the way that it is bouncing around my studio lights, but you know, applied indexes on a pseudo brass watch for $45. It does have a fair amount going for it, this one, but it's not that pretty, is it? Push on case back, push pull crown, and only five atmospheres, 50 meters of water resistance, so you ain't gonna be getting the Brigada wet. The strap doesn't look awful, it's got that kind of crazy horse effect, and they claim it to be genuine leather, but I reckon that top surface will peel off within a fortnight. It does, however, have a large and branded, again, they claim this is brass buckle on the other end. 
On wrist, it is both bigger and more lumpen than the 40mm Mako, 43mm diameter and 51.5mm lug to lug. At least it is reasonably slim at 11 millimeters thanks to the fact that it is quartz and even though that bezel insert and those hands look like they're absolutely pumped full of loom just like the Zelos, there is no loom whatsoever on this watch. So certainly not awful for a $40 watch, I've got much worse lurking in the drawer of shame that has cost a similar amount of money but it actually does remarkably few of the things that the original watch upon which its design is so clearly based does. That bezel, for example, is fixed. There's no way you could dive with it. There's no loom and it's quartz rather than auto. So definitely save your pennies by a real Zelos rather than this rather shoddy imitation. But what does that say about Zelos as a brand? Well, I think, as I suggested, it says that Zelos can no longer be considered a micro brand. If people are ripping off your design wholesale in this manner, then you've clearly done something right. You're clearly up there now playing with the big boys. So there you have it, the shocking proof indeed that Zelos can no longer be considered a micro brand. I think their sales volume is too high anyway, they've now been established for so long, and when other companies are ripping off your designs wholesale, then you clearly have made it in the industry. Do I recommend this Brigada? Not really. I mean, it's not awful for the money, but I think this is one of the sets of circumstances where people have a right to say, save up and buy yourself the original. Thank you for watching. I will see you in a future video.